in this video i will be explaining how to review the model or how to finalize the finite element model before taking it for the analysis what need to be ensured in this is unwanted elements for the simulation need to be removed the surfaces which were created or which were used for generation of finite element mesh need to be deleted the lines and the points which were created during the meshing need to be removed it should be ensured that the element type is proper and the material property defined has the appropriate units the thickness property defined should be correct and the thickness assigned to the model should be visible how do we do it now i will show you how that could be accomplished first pick on the component make sure that only required component exist right now we have five different components in which the required component is only elements 2d in that also only these many elements are now required for the final analysis the remaining components need to be deleted apart from this component try to delete the remaining components by selecting them right click press hold pick on delete delete window is open pick on s to delete the elements which are not required presently pick on f2 what need to be deleted elements put a window to select these elements and pick on delete i want to delete the lines which lines pick here again select all currently we don't have any lines so it is saying here no change total selected lines is zero check for the surfaces pick on all no change the total selected is zero ensure that the unwanted elements unwanted components unwanted lines unwanted surfaces and points need to be deleted pick on return now make sure that the required component exist yes in the components elements 2d component is existing pick on f which will fit the component into the graphics area check whether the material defined has the required parameters and desired units pick on the material select the material right click on that pick on edit it is saying 
the material is steel and its card image is MP data. Click on cancel. Alternatively, this material can be viewed from this icon also. Click on the material icon. Click on the update. Select the material that is steel. Select. Click on update edit. Ensure that the density, the angst modulus and the poisons ratio are proper. Click on return. Click on return again. Click on the property. Ensure that update is selected. Select the property from here. The property defined is shell thickness 3. Select the property and select. Note that the type is shell and the card image is 163 for shell. Click on update edit. The thickness which was entered for this shell is 3. That is thickness 1. Click on return. The element which defined is shell 163. Pick on return. Pick on tools. Pick on the element type table. In element type table, make sure that the element type is 1 and it is shell 163. Pick on close. Pick on the 2D. Select the element type. Pick on the any element here. Pick on review. The shell element is 163 is highlighted. Pick on return. Ensure that the boundary conditions or the constraints defined is proper and the required nodes are taken with the proper constraints or boundary conditions. Ensure that the correct load is applied on the desired nodes. Thickness property is assigned that is 3 mm. That thickness can be visualized from this particular traditional element representation or 3D element representation. This is the thickness of the body that can be switched on or switched off using these options. Once all these property, material, loading conditions, element types are ensured, pick on the component table. Ensure that the component is elements 2D. Pick on select. That component is having the proper card image, desired property, desired card image and the material. Pick on return. Then go to the component manager. Pick on utility. Pick on the component manager. The component manager window is now open and you can find here the red highlighted parameters which means there is a some problem in this component management. Select the row and pick on right click select editable. Select the particular element or the row in that pick on element reference number and ensure that the proper element is selected and pick on set. 
component table window will open to ensure pick on yes now note that there should not be any red remarks you can see here the element defined is a shell element the component name is element 2d element type reference name is element type 1 and it has taken the property that is shell thickness thickness of the property is 3 and the material is steel pick on table pick on quit again enter into the component manager now see that there is no red remarks pick on table pick on quit now it can be confirmed that this particular meshed finite element model with defined parameters like material its element type and property is ready for the further analysis or solution of differential equations